Welcome to Telecom World 2019 here in Budapest, Hungary, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio this morning by Miguel Geraldes, who is the CEO of Unitel from in Angola. Uh, Miguel, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Good morning as well. Good morning. Now, innovation together, innovating together, connectivity that matters is this event theme. Uh, what makes connectivity meaningful and, and why is it so important, do you think? Okay, I think the, I'm in this industry for more than 20 years and when we started at the beginning, GSM started. So uh, the telcos, they control the service as it is. So we were providing voice, then we are providing text message. Suddenly, at a certain point, we decided, okay, let's bring internet to our palm of the hand. And that is where everything changed a lot because suddenly uh, we lost the control of the services. So the OTTs come in. So, and that is the importance that today all of the operators they need to have a proper business model in terms of connectivity. Basically, all of the telcos in the world, what we are selling is basically connectivity. So you have different models of, of connectivity, but connectivity is basically is your core business. So for us, it's very critical to be smart in terms of connectivity. So if you want to sell connectivity as electricity, you might be in a problem because you basically you, you cannot monetize properly the huge investment that we need to do. So basically that's the main point. So we need to look for the connectivity in a smart way. So it's what normally we used to call it uh, smart, <laughs> smart networks or whatever. So, and of course, on top of that, we need to have partnerships with uh, everyone that is using basically uh, the OTTs and these kind of things, but our core business, in my opinion, is really connectivity and we need to be very smart with the connectivity. And what do you think has got the power to uh, achieve the greatest dig in, in terms of digital transformation? Okay, about digital transformation, I think I, I foresee, or the way that I see the digital transformation in telcos is basically you have two components. We, we have to look for what we call the, the the obvious thing, which means that we need to optimize our, all of our process to have it digital, and at the end, delivering the service through digital means that, so the future, our customers will not call to our call center. Let's say it in this way. So because the app is so efficient that basically you resolve anything in just only one, one click. So that's the main aim of the digital transformation. But Behind the obvious, I think it's very important to the telcos, and I think we are, we are losing part of this digital transformation, which means the data-driven process. So when you do an app to your customers uh, connecting with you, so if you look for data-driven companies as, uh, say, Google, as whatever, um, uh, all of these companies, what they have it, so basically they process all of, these all of this information in big data. And from that, they design and they use machine learning exactly to personalize what kind of offers and, and even to optimize everything that can have it from the network. For instance, we are building up a model that we, in terms of data-driven, so we are creating a big model, a big data, which collecting what was the experience of the customer in the connecting the connectivity. So it means that if you are downloading whatever Netflix, so we can see exactly if your experience was good, then I can understand exactly what is your behavior in terms of using what apps are you using in what kind of services. And from that, again, that's where the, the clever thing of uh, connectivity comes in. So it means that we will design, we are trying to personalize offers to our customers based in all of these big data. So digital transformation is the behavior and the behind the behavior, so. Very briefly, what's the uni uh, Unitel doing to, uh, towards connecting the unconnected? Okay, uh, so Unitel, I think we have in some way one of the most advanced in, because we are in Sub-Saharan Africa. So we have the most advanced uh, um, national uh, fiber uh, backbone. 
So we are connecting all of the country with fiber. We have around 14,000 kilometers of fiber, which is huge in a country that was in war until 2004. Can you imagine? So, so uh, the famous um, uh, experience of everything that build up all of these kind of things. So our sites at the moment are, we have connectivity with fiber for more than 90%. So our coverage is, can be expanded, but I think this pillar, the fundamental for the future, is something that very unique. So from the other side, because of the same reason that I told you, so, and the population is growing heavily. So uh, Angola is growing population 3%, more than 3% per year. So population is, so if you look for the pyramid of the population, so 50% of the population is under uh, 18. So we will have around, we are expecting, uh, today we have 12 million subscribers. We are expecting that we will have more 10 million subscribers in the next six to seven years. So, and that is where uh, the, the, the point of your question. So a lot of people, because of the war, they moved to the, the, the main cities, right? So people went out of the rural areas because of the war. So a lot of them, they grew up in the main cities. So Luanda is the capital. So we have basically more than one third of the population of the country because of it's, it was the effect from the, from the war. So uh, indeed, we have connectivity uh, everywhere. I'm not saying we don't have cover 100% geographically, but we have all of these 18 provinces, we have 2G, 3G. We have in majority of them already 4G. And we believe that uh, there's a lot of things that we need to do it in the future. But uh, the fact that we have fiber, even in these rural areas, it will be fundamental to us to help the country to develop and to connect then connected people, especially with the internet. Again, very briefly, what is the role of government in stimulating public-private uh, financial cooperation, do you think? Okay, uh, I think government has a huge role in, in, and that's the reason that there is a regulator and there is policies that basically government put in place. Uh, we have actually a, a very good uh, relation with the government. I think we are working in a, in a, with the same objective, which is means that connecti connectivity and connecting. So, and creating innovation and bringing developers inside of the, of the country. So, uh, the role of the government, so, is to create fairness in terms of competitiveness, uh, co in terms of competition, and also helping us as much as it possible, because Angola faced, uh, because it's dependent a lot from oil and oil affected the economy in the last four to five years heavily. So government is trying their best to create, uh, I'd say, an environment that and creating uh, new rules that to be much more fairness uh, to the investors and external investors and this kind of things. Finally, I just wanted to ask you in one sentence, uh, what is the value for you of events such as ITU Telecom World? Okay, I think most probably is related with my answer before. So uh, I think the main objective of this event, I think is more important to expose the country than specific, uh, specifically us. So of course this was led by, by the government and they, although we are private, but we, we joined them. And so what is the most important? So government needs to have a huge relation with ITU and then for us, we will take it from that. Miguel Garrelis, thank you very much okay. indeed. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. Okay. Thank you.